Hi everyone, I'm Erin Lai with Remax All Points, and I have an exciting announcement from the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver and WorkSafe BC this week. They have given us the green light to go ahead with open houses. Uh, so you'll be seeing those pop up on the websites again. Like all industries, uh, we've been given an extensive list of safety guidelines from WorkSafe BC to follow to make sure that we're keeping the public and our sellers and our buyers nice and safe. Um, so it's not going to be business as usual. Open houses are going to look a little bit different than they did in the past. So I've put together this video uh, to go through some of the changes that you might be expecting to see over the coming weeks. The first thing we are um, that you're most likely going to come across as a buyer is signing in. The reason we uh, you will the reason you will be asked to sign in is for contact tracing. So in the unlikely event that there is an exposure at the open house, um, you will be able to get in contact with uh, by public health safety officers and followed up with. Um, Realtors may use the information to follow up with you after the open house to see how you like it. Uh, rest assured that. Agents need to follow marketing and privacy information uh, guidelines and laws. Um, so do provide accurate information. It's very important for contract tracing perspective. And if you do find that you are that an agent is following up with you more than you want to be, um, you can just simply ask them to unsubscribe you or desist. And um, I, you know, I trust everybody will do the right thing in that sense. Second thing you might see is a buyer is more forms. So um, that includes, you might be asked to fill out a health questionnaire or perhaps a, a safety waiver. Um, one of the recommendations from the guidelines was that um, realtors screen buyers a little bit more stringently to make sure that perhaps only pre-qualified buyers are coming into the home. Um, that puts realtors in a little bit of a tough spot because when we start asking members of the public for personal information, we're required by the real estate board to provide a disclosure, an agency disclosure. So that form's called a door. It's a disclosure of representation and trading services. It explains what agency is and who that agent is working for. Are they representing the seller or are they there as a hosting agent um, and able to, um, you know, able to provide different sorts of information? So I'm not sure this decision is going to be driven by the seller. So if the seller wants the agent to ask those questions before people come in, technically the realtor should be uh, presenting this Dorts form to the public uh, before they enter. But it does affect uh, how information is shared. Um, so just make sure that you give it a read through. Hopefully you're, um, you know, if you've met with a realtor before, you're even coming to an open house, you kind of know what this form is. Um, it's not binding. It's not a binding agreement. Signing is optional, um, but just make sure that you read it and ask questions um, and just be prepared that this might be a requirement before you enter the home. Um, physical distancing requirements are still going to apply. So there are going to be instances where that might be tough. For example, if you're going into an elevator or tight spaces within the home, uh, do your best to keep your space while you're going through the home. Uh, the realtor may limit the number of guests that are allowed inside the home to one or two groups at a time. And then if that's the case, uh, making sure that you're keeping distance respectfully while you're waiting to go in. So, you know, for a strata, for example, if you've been asked to wait in the lobby or outside, um, giving residents of the strata space to enter and exit their building as well as other guests that are waiting to enter the open house. Um, personal protective equipment like masks have been uh, recommended so you will likely be asked to wear a mask. Uh, you might not be. I know everybody's position on this is a little bit different. Again this decision is going to be driven by the sellers um, and if the sellers want people to wear masks the listing agents may require you to wear one. Um, they might be provided, they might not be so I always think it's a good idea to bring your own anyway. And the same goes for hand sanitizer and washing hands. Um, you might be asked to wash your hands or sanitize your hands before you enter the property. Um, if the agent, listing agent or hosting agent isn't able to provide hand sanitizer, it's always a good idea to have some on you um, if you are visiting open houses that day. Pro tip. Um, you're likely going to have a look but, no, uh, look but don't touch requirement. So uh, listing realtors are likely going to um, open all the doors and the cabinets um, and ask that you don't touch surfaces or light switches, for example. Um, everyone's going to be running it a little bit differently. Obviously, the requirements of a vacant house might be a little bit different to a house that's currently uh, lived in. Um, just make sure that you ask before you do touch anything um, and just respect the wishes and the instructions of the, that hosting agent. 
Um, pro tip, pre-screen the home before you go and uh, visit open houses. So we are still in the middle of, an, of a pandemic. We've done really well in BC, um, but there's, you know, we're, st we're, we're not out of the woods yet and we don't want to be visiting other people's homes that we don't need to be. So as much research as you can do beforehand, the better. Um, I've been really, really impressed by how well real estate agents have upped their marketing game. Uh, so there's so much technology available on most listings these days, like floor plans, um, 3D tours, virtual tours, live streaming, um, you know, virtual slideshows, full on videos, a lot, a lot of content um, is out for you to screen a home before you actually have to go inside and physically view it. Um, and the same goes for the area. You can certainly do drive bys um, and research on an area to make sure it's um, one that you'd be happy in before you actually go start looking at homes in that area. So strongly encourage you to do your research before um, physically viewing properties. Sellers, you might need to do a little extra cleaning before or after an open house. Um, speak with your listing realtor and figure out who's going to be doing that. If the listing realtor is hosting the open house, will they be doing it? Or if it's a you know another agent of that age of your listing realtor's brokerage, will they be doing it? Or perhaps you as a seller might be more comfortable doing it yourself, so you know exactly what's being done and it's being done to um, the quality that you want. Uh, keep windows uh, open to allow for air circulation. All of these little tips that we can do to keep the space more safe. Um, buyers, be patient. I think open houses are going to take a little bit longer at the moment. Um, so maybe don't try and cram six into two hours <laughs> like we used to be able to. You may only see, you know, two or three. Um, and just understand that listing realtors and hosting agents are following the instructions of sellers. The sellers, you know, it's a privilege. Sellers are inviting you into their homes. Um, so please respect their wishes, uh, respect the instructions of the agent and just be patient and kind and tolerant. We're all going to muddle through this together, but I feel that one of the reasons why BC has been so successful through this is that we've been really good team players. We've been listening to each other and taking care of one another, working together. Um, and that's why I've been success successful and the same applies in this situation. So there you have it. I'm excited. Um, my heart is full. I feel a shift. Um, you know, the market is humming along. So yeah, this is just another great step forward and I know that we can do it safely. And yeah, if you have any questions or if you've got some anxieties or not sure how things are going to look, just reach out and give me a call. I'd be happy to discuss with you and help you set up a, day, a game plan for success. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Happy hunting.